Welcome to this video. Tell me about yourself. This is the question, I should say most commonly asked question to residency interviews or any interviews, regardless of your specialties. Either you are in family medicine, internal medicine, pediatrics. Interview start with tell me about yourself. However, you may have already realized that giving the answer of this question briefly in a timely manner is not easy. It truly really takes a lot of brainstorming and putting your idea in a very efficient and effective way. My goal for this video is to give you a step-by-step -step approach that you can formulate, tell me about yourself that suits to your specialty and to your interview. Hi, if you are new to this channel, welcome and thank you so much for visiting. My name is Dr. Farzana Hawk. I'm an assistant professor of medicine. I'm board certified in internal medicine and currently practicing in the US. Over the last couple of years, when I'm taking interview of residency candidates, like any other interviewers, I start with tell me about yourself. So if you are asked this question, how should you approach and tell about it? The first tips, always keep your answer within two minutes because no interview will have that attention and concentration to listen to tell me about yourself because this is just the warm up question more than two minutes. And secondly, if you take more time for this tell me about yourself question, the interview is highest for 15 minutes. So interviewer will run out of time to ask you other questions that may be very important for you and to show that how competent you are and perfect person for their program. So keep it two minutes. Secondly, when you are starting your answer, you can start with your name that my name is, for me, it will be my name is Farzana Hawk. And then I will say that my friends and family call me Farzana, please address me Farzana. So you can formulate this style to your name. Remember when I introduce myself, I did not mention that my name is Dr. Farzana Hawk. Because when you are talking about this, tell me about yourself, the interviewer already know that you are a medical graduate. If you are an IMG coming from a different country, you have already SFMG certification. You may have already a step three. So they know that you are already a licensed physician in another country. So you do not need to address yourself doctor at that moment because they are much senior than you. And I believe this is a polite version. However, at the same time, you are telling your name. So keep it short and simple and in a very friendly and professional way. Secondly, after you tell your name, divide this answer into two parts. First, you will talk a little bit about your professional side. Secondly, you will talk about little bit about your personal side. Because as human being, as a physician, you are not only a physician, you are a first a human being. However, this is a professional interview. So that's why you should bring little bit about your professional part, which is very important, and then little bit about your personal point. So after you already tell your name, you can tell them that, okay, how you can address me. And remember, if your name is a little bit long or difficult pronunciation, because for international medical graduates, as we come from another country, another culture, it may not be very easy for US native physicians to pronounce that name. So if you are make easy for them to pronounce your name, believe me, it will work for your best interest. And they will be able to remember you more when they are giving you a score. 
So when you are talking about your professional side, you can tell that, okay, from where did you graduate? For me, I graduated from University of Dhaka, which is the most prestigious university in Bangladesh. Then you can say that, okay, I practiced in your country if you have practiced. And then what you are doing currently, for example, if you were doing observership, externship, or any research, mention that. So you are telling that, okay, from where did you graduate? You can mention if you practice in your back home. And then you can mention currently what you are doing. And then after this little bit talking about your professional side, you can go to the personal side. And when you are talking about your personal side, give them some signal that you are talking about your personal side. How can you do that? You can say on a personal side, I am, you can say if you are married, if you are you know, engaged, if you have kids, or if you are not married, not engaged, just tell about little bit, just maybe one line about your parents, about your siblings, and after you talk very briefly about your family, maybe one or two lines, the highest, then you can mention only one line about your hobby. Like, I like running, I like cooking, hiking, just only one line about your hobby. So did you see how did I formulate? I start with my name, then I talk maybe three lines about my professional side. Then I went to my personal side, talk, just one line about my family my or my parents, and then one line about my hobby. So after you have these few lines, then you are coming to the conclusion. And how can you give the signal to the interviewer that you are coming to the conclusion? You can say that it's a little bit about me. Remember, you have come so far. Right, you completed your graduation, you did your USMLA steps, you are applying, you have came so far. And there is no way you can talk all about yourself in two or three minutes. So it's truly a very little bit about yourself you are telling them. So tell them that it's a little bit about myself and then is there anything particular you want me to talk about? So when you are giving back this question to the interviewer, so then interviewer is getting the signal that, okay, you are done. And now the interviewer can ask you the next question. So please remember these steps. I believe these steps will be helpful for you to structure your tell me about yourself answer for this question. Tell me about yourself. This is the question. It's not only for residency interview. After you will be done with your residency training, if you are going for your attending physician or regardless of any interview, it start with tell me about yourself. So it's crucial to know how to answer it briefly and to the point. If you have any other tips, please put it in the comments below. I would love to learn from you and implement it maybe in the next video. If you have any other questions, comments, or if you want me to make video in other topics, please put it in the chat as well. I make sure to read your questions and comments very attentively. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video, share this video with your friends and colleagues whom you believe will near, really need to learn how to formulate this answer for tell me about yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care and best of luck.